Hello everyone. Now let's try to apply the concept of electric power in some questions. So here is the question which says that there is an electric motor which takes 5 ampere of current from a 220 volt line. Then we have to determine the power of the motor and also the energy consumed by this motor in 2 hours. Now we know that there were three expressions for electric power. First was I square R, second was V square by R and third was V into I. Now if we look at all these three expressions, you will find out that resistance is present in the first two expressions. But if you look at the question, we are not given the value of resistance. Rather, we are only given the value of voltage and current. So if we, you look at this third expression, it says that power is V into I. So we can use the third expression and put the value of voltage and current to find the value of power. So you have to choose that expression whose quantities are given to us. So we'll choose third expression. So we can write down that power is equals to V into I. Now just put the values, V is 2220 volts and the value of current is 5 amperes. So just solve it, 220 into 5 will give you 1100 volt into amperes and we know that this volt into amperes is nothing but watts. So this will be 1100 watts. Now we have to find out the energy consumed in 2 hours. We know the basic formula of electric power. Electric power is nothing but the amount of heat energy per unit time. So we have to find the heat energy. So we can write down that P is H by T. So H will be equals to P into T. So we can write down the energy consumed will be power of the motor into the time which it is working. So put the values, power we had calculated to be 1100 watts and time is given 2 hours. Just remember that we have given the time in hours, so we have to put it in seconds. So this will be 2 into 3600. Now this will give us the energy in joules. If we put the time in hours, then we'll get the power in watt hours. So this will be 2200 into 3600. This will be in joules. So if we solve it, 22 into 36 will be equal to 792 and 0, 0, 0, 0 joules. This much amount of energy. Now if we have to calculate the power in watt hours, we will not write this 3600. Instead, we will write this as 1100 watts into 2 hours. So we can get the energy as 2200 watt hours. So we can get the energy in both the forms, in joules as well and in watt hours as well. Now let us understand the method of billing of the electrical energy consumed in our homes. We will understand this with the help of a question. So here is a question which says that there is an electric refrigerator which is rated at 300 watts and it is operated for 10 hours a day. Now we have to find out the cost of energy to operate it for 30 days if the rate of electricity is 5 rupees per kilowatt hour. Now we can easily find out the energy consumed in one day and then we'll multiply that energy by 30 to get the energy in 30 days and then we'll multiply that energy with the cost. So let's solve this. So the energy consumed in one day will be equals to the power rating into the amount of time the refrigerator is being operated. So this will be 300 watts into 
10 hours. So we'll get the energy to be 300 watt hours. Now just remember that we are built at kilowatt hours, but we had calculated in watt hours. So we have to convert this watt hours into kilowatt hours. So we'll just divide it by 1000 and get the value in kilowatt hours. So this will be equals to 3000 by 1000 will be 3 kilowatt hours. Now we can find out the energy consumed in 30 days. Just multiply this value by 30. So in 30 days this will be 3 into 30 kilowatt hours. So the energy consumed will be 90 kilowatt hours. Now we can easily calculate the cost of operating this refrigerator for 30 days by multiplying the cost per unit by this value. So the cost will be net cost will be equals to this value into 5. So this will be 90 into 5 or we can say rupees 450. So this is how we calculate the cost of electricity consumed by us in our homes.